What's up, King Pookie Nation? This is your boy King Pookie coming to the house, recapping the Bears and the Titans game. Oh my God, this is the worst game ever this season. You know, this was like, you know, um, not again. The Bears didn't score until the fourth quarter of the game. You know, we couldn't even score one point in the first half of the game. You know, and we, you know what? We held. Mark, you know, we King Henry to 68 yards, and we still didn't win the game, you know. And, um, and they, the Titans didn't even have the best pass rusher in the game, uh, and, and, um, pass rusher, and we still couldn't win, you know. And this is very disgraceful. This team has lost to the Cincinnati Bengals last week, and you know what? I mean, Nick Foles, he's, I don't know how much worse can this guy get, you know. Um, he, you know, he's, he's so scared to throw the ball. He always throws the ball away if he needs to get tackled. He just, like, throws, you know, throws it to the ground and that stuff. But he, and sometimes we couldn't even get to the first, you know, first down. And, you know, um, but, man, you know, Nick Foles... He's just a backup quarter. That's all he is, you know. Um, and that one play calling by um, that cute little play by um, Jermaine Defendi, the fake field goal. You know, I I don't think it was Matt Nagy that called it. I think that was somebody else that had to be. It just does not say Matt Nagy. I don't see him call, making that call. And you know what? He in the beginning he shot away from. Um, Cordell Patterson, and you know it was working, and then you know what happened, and then he then he went back to his old ways, and he went back to using Cordell, and you know what, and then you know what, I mean like probably like, and the press conference they're gonna, I want somebody in the sports minute ask why you did not score. Any points in the first quarter, and you know what? He's probably gonna say, "Well, I, all my players are from the practice squad." And he's like, "Well, hey, you know." And then, then the guy, the reporter says, "Well, isn't it the same thing? What happened to the Bengals? That was a, a their backups and their um people from the practice drop squad. You know, they still defeated the Titans. You know, you know this team." Man, lost to the Bengals, and we still couldn't beat them, you know. And that's, you know, I mean, Man Nagy just keeps making excuses, excuses. He's, you know, he's never going to change. He's so hard-headed, just like our president. Just accept it, you know, that you are not a good play calling, you know, to let go of the play calling duties, you know. And let somebody else. And you know what? We are number one in penalties in the whole NFL. You know, that's you know. I mean, that's all on Matt Nagy's problems and this coaching staff because they need to make the change. You know, they they got to You know, they're the ones that are telling the players. You know, they're giving the players the um calls and you know, and so um, this is like you know. And, um, you know, like, they got to do something to make a change here. Because, you know, you know, I think they, they need to fire Matt Nagy. Or, and they got to fire Ryan Pace. Because Ryan Pace has, has ruined this team ever since he came into this team. I mean, he's the only thing good he's done on this team, for this team, is got us to the playoffs. And... He gave us the great defense, you know, and then, but we have, he drafted the worst court, he drafted Mr. Biscay was worse, and then he, you know what, he traded for, for Nick Foles, and you know, he ruined the kicking game, and, uh, so, I'm just saying, Virginia McCaskey, your sons are ruining this team, you know, your son, Michael McCaskey, he ruined that. 85 Bears, we should have won more game, we should have won more Super Bowls, 
and then your son, other son, George McCaskey, he's just ruining even more, you know. And um, I mean, I'm sick and tired of we are hiring these coaches, and we can't and and we cannot draft a quarterback, you know. We can't, and all these other other teams, they could get good quarterbacks in the draft, but we can't not pick, pick a good quarterback in the draft. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, but um, yeah, it's like we need to make a change because you know what? In Green Bay, it's gonna be the end of the era because Aaron Rodgers is getting close to retirement. So and and Jordan Love is not the answer for Green Bay. And you know we have to take advantage of this because. You know, we do, are the laughing stock of the NFL. Everybody's laughing at us, you know. That's why we always never ever in the in the uh, power rankings. They're always they never bring up mention our names ever. And they always say that we're going to have the worst rec we're not going to win any games, you know. They never give us respect. And you know, this team is known for the 1985 Bears. That's the problem right there, you know. The 80, we're stuck in 85. We cannot go forward. We want, you know, I'm sick and tired of hearing, you know, Jim McMahon and Mike Dicka and all those other guys. You know, we need to move forward, you know. Um, to, we need to make a change for this team, you know. Because we Bear fans are, you know, have to hear it this from other NFL fans you know that you know they're laughing at us so man McCaskey's family you need to sell this team or do something dramatically change something do something you know because every because I don't see the Bears winning another game because I don't think they're gonna beat the Vikings you know, and we still have to play the Green Bay Packers. And you don't, you know, we, we, we got five wins. And those five wins, we beat easy teams. Easy teams. We're lucky that we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know. We beat them by one, you know. We should have lost that game, you know. Um, so, we need to beat hard teams if we want to get anywhere, you know. This defense can't win us the game, you know, every time. So we need to draft good players in the draft and draft somebody from on the old line, not on the defense. Because, you know, whatever, you know, Brian Pace is doing, he's just drafting players for the defense and getting, and he didn't do anything in the trade deadline. He didn't, not even one move, you know, come on. And so I know we have garbage players, you know. This is the worst, and we are number one in penalties, and you know, and that's all under the coaching staff, you know. We are number one in penalties in the NFL. That's why we're the laughing stock in the NFL. That's why we don't get respect around here, you know. We need to make a change, and it's going to happen. If we don't do anything thing by next on um, Monday, and we're going to be playing um, on the um, Monday Night Football from in front of the, everybody again. From the NFL media and everybody. And it's going to be prime time. We need to do, do something. Because the defense can uh, not bail this team every time. So, let me know what you think. Leave me comment on below if they should be making a change. Or should they fire Matt Nagy, you know? Or who, or do you think we even have a chance to win another game, you know? And subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. And I'll let give you the greatest Bears news out there. So this is King Pookie and I'll see you guys next week. And Bear Down, Chicago Bears fans.